Hello. Hello, dear Stepan. Thank you so much, dear Stepan. I know it was uh, it was not easy for you because you were uh, busy with your concerts, with your compositions. I am very grateful to you. It's very nice to have it, have a chance like this. Thank you so much, uh, dear Stepan. Today, I would like to ask you about your music, uh, your compositions, your albums, and. Um, if you agree, I would like to start uh, start my questions uh, with your musical styles uh, because you have a variety range of styles uh, in your compositions uh, from the pieces that you have written in the old style styles like the Temptation of Renaissance to Psycho that you have inspired of the Psycho the Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. Uh, could you please tell us why you have chosen this variety of uh, styles? Uh, do you know what? It was in England uh, many, many years mm -hmm. ago. I visited my very, very good friend David Bridge in Liverpool. And of course, mm -hmm. Liverpool, we walked there and we watched all the places where vehicles were and all the streets and roads and so on. And uh, he said, why wouldn't we go to the cinema? There is a premiere today of Psycho. I said, yeah, I, I would love to see it. So that we went to the cinema and immediately there, you know, during the cinema, I was sure about the theme straight away. And I came back to his, to his flat after uh, seeing this, uh, this movie. And I took my guitar to my hands. He can tell you that it's true, David Bridge. And I mm -hmm. started playing this piece step by step wow. so that it was born uh, practically at the same moment. I don't know, was it was it year 80, 80, 85 or something like that of last century? But um, that was fascinating, you know. And since that time, wow. I didn't change too much uh, of, of this piece. So, mm -hmm. so that was yeah. very simple and strong. And there was still one inspiration which was behind this uh, that was the inspiration of oscar wilde of his uh, roman what says the profundis mm -hmm. the profundis says his, mm -hmm. his book which is fantastic fascinating as well very sad very dark and uh, so that i took uh, the inspiration also from from this book so that there are two inspirations uh, both together wow it's really interesting and that's uh, for me it's, it's really interesting to know why you have chosen this variety of styles <laughs> do you know <laughs> my basic profession not every mm. is a painter i am a painter i i have studied the school of painting art and mm. finished it also and i was painting very very much and um, uh, the, the thing I was involved, the, the most of all, is surrealism. I love surrealism. And um, uh, uh, not, not only Sal Salvador Dali, uh, all mm -hmm. styles, you know, all the varieties. Uh, and um, the, the most fascinating for, for me was uh, Hieronymus Bosch, Bosch mm -hmm. uh, from, from the 16th century. And uh, here, um, garden there you stand, and uh, on the, uh, the, this sort of, uh, of striptics, it's, um, unbelievable ones. And uh, uh, I tried my best to uh, create uh, my pictures, my paintings like this, but I couldn't, I didn't succeed. And uh, after that, I switched to the music. When I was about 18, I started studying a uh, conservatoire in Prague by Professor Stepan Urban, who was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after very first steps in the guitar, I could feel the composition is my way of life, my style of life. And what, why I am telling this? The reason is that I am painting with the music. Mm -hmm. And I try to paint my uh, mm -hmm. pictures, you know, yeah. mind, in yeah. imagination, according to the pictures I can see. So that on one hand, 
there is a um, uh, just a renaissance piece which uh, goes back to the renaissance time like temptation uh -huh. you mentioned already of the renaissance or uh, even gothic and uh, farther on to the prehistory prehistorical themes and also the classical music my um, first guitar concerto dedicated to professor stepan urban uh, was exactly classicism it was uh, in c major c major uh, traditional piece and um, i i la like very much baroque of course i like renaissance uh, i like um, very much romantic romanticism that's that mm -hmm. i love absolute actor berlioz fantastic symphony and so on and yeah. These varieties, you know, uh, I also uh, was following in uh, in my painting art. But as I said, I wasn't able to paint it. I wasn't that good. And uh, music, now all of a sudden, I can create different styles of, of music. But though, though I, I am inside, there every, in every piece of mine, Mm -hmm. is my soul which I believe in so that this is for me very important not the language the language can be mm -hmm. different you know but yeah. the meaning of it is just my aim my goal I am trying to and I am very grateful to such such a man like Vladimir Mikulka he was um, he is still but uh, uh, he's nearly of my age but he was, was the first winner of paris competition many many mm -hmm. ago i think in the 80s or 70s uh, last century and uh, he played everywhere pieces of mine and uh, after he jumped away from this country he, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. then he was traveling heavily worldwide everywhere new zealand australia finland and he brought because of one special piece he played from uh, from me remembering mm -hmm. imagine that this uh -huh. yeah. remembering prague and there is yeah. a cd which was published many years ago in in, uh, in denmark remembering prague that brought me to different countries because people fall in love in this, with this piece uh, mm -hmm. played by Vladimir Mikulka and they, they were inviting me after that, after oh. his piece. There was New Zealand and they, they even, they even uh, uh, there was a um, Jacksons, uh, they were fantastic people, very good friends of mine. They brought me to New Zealand just because of that. Um, uh, Isolda Schaub and um, especially, um, es especially um, the, that I, uh, Svoboda, Gloria Svoboda from Australia. Mm -hmm. She also helped me to bring me to Australia. And wow. after my six days in Australia, I composed the largest piece ever written for guitar, Terra Australis. You can find it on YouTube, and uh, okay. it, it's a very, very funny piece. <laughs> so that about that. It's really interesting. Uh, no, it, it was really interesting for me because you had um, you used uh, different styles, and it was really interesting because, in the same time, you. Um, uh, I had chosen different techniques and very difficult techniques. <laughs> and, and it was really interesting for me to know about it. But in the same time, I would like to um, ask you my second question because we, uh, I'm really uh, curious to know about this story behind some of uh, your compositions that I um, heard and um, listened many times also uh, on YouTube. Like, or a Ruska Aika, a song for David mm. and the song of the Queen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, could you please tell us more about um, this story behind of, uh, these pieces? Uh, I am happy you ask uh, for, because um, first of all, 
uh, as I said already, uh, I am a painter, and I must have a story behind always, so that everywhere I was in the world, I was in 74 countries worldwide, and uh, in all the countries, I was very much moved, very much uh, touched by the culture, by both, by the culture, by the art, people, and, uh, and uh, human society, and landscapes, and uh, whatever, but especially of the things which happened. Hiroshima, you know, I was born, yeah. uh, I am born the 8th of August, I just celebrated my 75 several days ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same but very sad celebration at Hiroshima. Because mm -hmm. Hiroshima was the 6th of August, 45. And Nagata, mm -hmm. the 9th of August. And um, that uh, moved me to compose a special piece, the symphony, Hiroshima. And after that, um, I adapted it for solo guitar. You can find it on YouTube as well. And, yes, yes. and uh, this is, uh, for example, Finland. I spent five years by both teaching and giving concerts. That was Vladimir Mikulka who br brought me to mm. Finland. And uh, I have so many compositions which uh, were strongly influenced and inspired by, by Finland and a lot of great players of the world, they are playing them. Um, like um, uh, even Vladimir Rikuka plays also Nekemin Suomi, Farewell Finland, and uh, Finnish Story. Um, uh, Martin Mislevacek played it unbelievably. And uh, uh, many, many, uh, you can find it actually. And um, then when I was uh, to uh, United States, I composed uh, Suita Chicago, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. when when I was to Spain, I uh, composed Spanish suite. Also, you can find it, and um, in England, yeah, oh gosh, so what, whatever, so many compositions inspired. Um, you know, my biggest friend in England was uh, John Duarte. We were very close. And uh, he invited me uh, every year to Kennington, something like that, like campus of Kennington. You can ask Nikita Koshkin, my great friend, how mm -hmm. likes, um, um, we were introduced actually there. And there, uh, there was also the idea to compose a set of six variations. John Duarte, Nikita Koshkin, mm -hmm. Epan Rak. And... Uh, Wow. There are six pieces based on our themes. I wrote a, a theme for both of them, and each of them wrote a theme for me. <laughs> but so there are six pieces. And as far as I know, the only who recorded uh, them all is, um, is um, the, the Stein Eric Olsen from Norway. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. You can find it, uh, and that's a brilliant. Yeah. You know, it's uh, unbelievable. Um, he really could manage all of these variations, and they are fantastic. And Koshkin's variations, oh gosh, just just fabulous. And uh, uh, so that I can go on, go on, go on. You know, through the whole world. My tango, when when I was uh, to Latin America, um, my piece is inspired by Mexico, and so on and so on. Um, it's it's hard to tell. The best is. If uh, uh, if you just watch uh, my website um, www.stepanrak.cz, it's very simple, and uh, yeah. also my YouTube channels, you can find a lot of uh, of my pieces. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, many, yeah, many, many uh, some top guitarists, and I am happy that uh, Pavel Steidl was my best student ever. I n never had such a good student like Pavel Steidl. Mm -hmm. And he played uh, my uh, variations on, on the theme by Nikita Koshkin and something like that. Wow. Exactly the best I ever heard. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I hope he's going to play some other pieces of mine. And um, uh, uh, when I uh, talked about Spain, 
You know, I um, uh, my uh, one of my favorite Spanish composers ever and guitarists and teachers, Frank mm -hmm. Arega. I fall in love with him. And when I was uh, in the jury in Benicassim many, many years ago, Darigas, Darigas competition, uh, I um, was allowed to play just in front of the grave of Big Maestro, Recuerdos de la Alhambra. Mm -hmm. I made my own of it. You can find it on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. And with uh, using all five fingers and a very special tremolo, cross two and three strings, and I played it there, and um, I could feel, my heart could feel, that Targa was happy, and so was uh, I. And uh, when I uh, remember this, that Vladimir Mikulka brought me a fantastic idea. Um, it's nearly ready now. I, am, um, I was inspired by Vladimir. He told, why wouldn't you compose a suite? Uh -huh. which will introduce Alhambra. So that there are five movements. <laughs> uh -huh. Last movement will be Alhambra by Tarega. And Lianto, um, um, a brilliant, brilliant guitarist, he, several days ago, as a present to my 75, recorded uh -huh. uh, uh, just a, uh, these gates to Alhambra, one of these movements. And uh, after this gate, uh, it opens mm -hmm. the door and it brings Alhambra. He's got very special arrangement, uh, 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 Lianto. And uh, so that uh, this is just the newest new which I have. And of course, I was awfully touched, really deeply touched by uh, by Julian Bream, um, uh, when I when I got the idea, the the, the new, the bad new, that he left us, that he passed yeah. away several days ago, I yeah. had a concert, and at the concert, I played for him. I played for him song for David. Should hear it. Should, song for David is a piece which goes with me many many years. And David was David Bridge, whom I mm. was first. Uh, first, mm. and after years, after years, I thought more and more of the of the of the David from Old Testament. But uh, mm. it's our David, and uh, there is a healing power of music. It's uh, for me the main aim of uh, this this piece, mm. and I played it to um, to this great maestro, Julien, at the concert. And I came home, I took my guitar, and uh, I played for him straight away on, on uh, YouTube or on um, Facebook, uh, Tombo for Julien. Maybe you uh, saw. It's a very beautiful piece. Thank you. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, this piece was also, it's not exactly new. The structure of piece I composed many years ago and I wow. always thought about this might play Julien Bream. But after his accident, it's uh, mm. nearly impossible anymore. But uh, uh, I did it in a new way, completely in a new way now. And the structure of that piece. And... Uh, mm. I really feel in my heart, and I believe he likes it over there. He was, he was a guru, my my guru, and uh, I think um, it was, um, and not only me, one of the biggest uh, guitar personalities of our time and of the history. Yeah, unfortunately, we lost um, a great person, a great as you. Uh, told us a great a guitarist, great uh, musician. Um, yeah, one one thing still, one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, uh, uh, him. Uh, I would like to mention the guy who lives still, and I am happy that he lives. Uh, 
my my uh, my friend John Williams. Uh, we ah. spent quite a lot of time together, both by teaching um, in Darwin International Guitar Festival and giving concerts. And he visited my concert when I did in Darwin premiere of Terra. Ah. It needed two inter um, 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 intervals. It's so <laughs> it's about two. Ah. Um, uh, or three hours long piece and uh, so that they were they were necessary to make wow. and uh, uh, I'm very happy that uh, John Williams uh, played uh, one piece of mine um, Darwiniana uh, mm -hmm. I uh, yeah, that's very beautiful. the yeah. name was Williamsiana but he was so mm -hmm. high he said Stepan no please stop to mention my <laughs> 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 Darwin, so let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, call it uh, Darwiniana, so that mm -hmm. Darwiniana, and mm -hmm. there was nearly nobody who played it after him. Uh, he played it in Darwin, then in Prague, uh, um, the, the biggest uh, uh, Prague uh, Spring Festival, also mm -hmm. in other other countries, and uh, uh, so that uh, uh, this piece was never published even, but I have wow. it, of course. So that mm -hmm. once I I could I can I can offer this this manuscript and uh, so that um, why I am telling this I am telling this because uh, one died and the other one will celebrate next year uh, eighty and it's uh, John Will next eight wow. so that uh, I would like to give him as a present this piece played by even someone else. <laughs> 